Vicky, they're 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 they're, al they're almost touching each other. Okay. And cool. they're a little over an inch high, so that's perfect at 100 yards. Awesome. Hey, we're gonna be heading out to Wyoming to R&K Hunting Queens Mountain. You know, and we were there this past September because we have the Wyoming, you have the all season elk tags. And what was really yep. cool is our priority, well, was RJ and RJ shot his first bull with his Hoyt with R&K in Queen Mountain in Wyoming. And I'm telling you what, we're pumped because we're heading back with our brownies. Yeah, now, I mean, we were out there in September also with our Hoyts. Yep. And we had a great trip. We had plenty of encounters. Oh, you and I gosh. just couldn't connect. So thankfully, we get to head back out there with our brownings now. So let's get going. I'm Vicki. I'm Ralph. And this is the choice. Hold so on. I should be good. Is it your turn to shoot? You know, I got to tell you, every time you, you, you go to a camp, you're nervous. You're, yeah, you're not, you you're, you're not sure. And when you, you get treated like family and they treat everyone like family, it just makes you want to go back year after year. Absolutely. Before getting out into the field, Ralph and Vicki pull out their Browning rifles to make sure everything is still sighted in, especially at longer yardages. Um, well, we just got here at R&K, Queen Mountain, and we are ready. We are getting our Brownings just checked in. They were dialed in at home, and I don't think much has changed. Last September, RJ had his first opportunity at a bull elk with a bow at R&K. Yeah, he was down the hill a bit, and then he beautifully came up a little more, and he stopped right by the tree, and he goes, he looked kind of over at us, and he just kind of, Just, just kind of a start off a trot and then just kind of kept going to the dirt or the uh, cows. As the excitement builds, Ralph and Vicky meet up with RJ to finish tracking the bull. Eventually, the entire RK crew joins in, truly making this recovery a team effort. Really an interesting day. We knew he was here. Mm -hmm. We needed a <laughs> went back and had lunch yeah. and we brought the whole crew out yeah. with us. No kidding. <laughs> yeah, we're out here with a 10 person crew. And I mean, yeah. what, 30 minutes, if that? 
Ten minutes? Not even that. Ten minutes? So he came back up. He tried, yeah. Because we were looking he, did for he the... parallel it? He didn't yeah. want to come all the way up. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> awesome. All we can say is we thank God for the opportunity. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Woo! Oh, all right. Now we have fun, though. Good yes. Deal. Now there's a lot of work for you mm -hmm. to pack it out. <laughs> checked out the weather and we realized that there is a nasty front coming through and I told everyone I want to be done the first morning. I requested it. If we can't find them there we'll hurry up and go back up on top cross into another open meadow okay. that they cross through before they go into the bed again. All right so sounds like a plan. I kind of like the very first place that we stopped though that would be good. That would be good too. <laughs> All right well we'll get set to go. Wasting no time, Vicki runs into her first elk on the very first day. And we were walking and listening and listening, and as we're going around the corner, they were pretty quiet. Yeah. And we went, were. we were walking, and all of a sudden, Brett's just like, there's Don't a move. bull. Don't move. Yeah, I, it, it felt good. It felt good. I just, it did. It felt good. I had a clear yeah, shot right through it. With a strong blood trail for tracking, Vicki finds her elk less than 200 yards from where the shot was taken. <laughs> Oh, let's go Good get job. him. Let's go see him. Oh, thank you. Oh, he's beautiful. R and K, Queen Mountain, Wyoming. Congrats. We are here. Good job. Rifle season, and I just got my elk, and he's beautiful. Well, <laughs> you know what? We got in the camp last night. We went down the range, made sure our guns were on. You know, you're like, okay, we're good. Are you comfortable? Yeah. And we went out this morning, and actually. We said this, we said we're gonna get it done this morning. There's a big front coming in, snow, cold, high winds. Ralph is still out hunting. Seriously, you were walking ahead of me and you stopped and you put my bog sticks up and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> and I looked at you cause I was still behind some, some quakies and I'm like, do you see a elk? <laughs> and I like peek around, I'm like, oh. And I turn around, I look back at Freddie, I'm like, there's a bull right there. I can't thank you guys enough. R and K here in Wyoming, Queen Mountain Lodge. You guys thank just. You I oh. appreciate having you guys here. It's always a pleasure having you. Thank you guys so much for, I mean, gosh, just the, the hospitality and everything of it. But then on top of it, now, now we've got a full freezer of meat. <laughs> Why up. would you Did think you I shot anything? Why would I shoot something? What am I doing in Wyoming? You're elk hunting at R&K <gasps> at Queen Mountain? Oh, really? That's what I'm doing? You better be. Oh, well, hang on a second. Let me see here if my finger would work. My finger's not working. Oh, there it is. Way to go, honey. S six? Yeah, he's a six. Beautiful six. What's Brett yeah, doing? That didn't look good. <laughs> I mean, that's what it's about. It's about sharing the hunt, the experience and everything here. And here at RNK in Wyoming, it's just, you, you can't beat the accommodations, everything here, all the people. I mean, what an amazing first rifle elk hunt I've, I've had. I mean, I'm not gonna say that it was easy by any means. I definitely put some, some hiking in. And I was here in September doing a lot of hiking too. So it, it wasn't just a one and out and done thing, but I'm, I'm gonna stay warm right here in camp. <laughs> and then it was my turn. Filled with excitement and expectation to get out and find himself a bull, Ralph wastes no time in getting back out into the Wyoming mountains. So hopefully we're in the right place at the right time. Again, this is our first day here at Iron Gate in Wyoming, and I'm gonna tell you, 
Vicki shot a magnificent bull this morning. Her first day out on her first ever rifle elk hunt. All these years has been bull hunting. And I said, well, what'd you think? I like this rifle hunt. <laughs> That's so cool. As Ralph's hunt continues, a group of cow elk pass by. But unfortunately, the bulls remain elusive. And then that afternoon, the weather changed. Uh, you know, and that's a really good point to remember is, you know, on, on any hunt, try to always watch the weather because a lot of that time, the weather's gonna dictate, listen, you know, m just maybe, I'm just telling you, maybe you should think about, well, if you're out there to, you know, fill that tag and fill that freezer, you might say, you know what, we're only gonna have two days, two good days of hunting this week. We better try to do it in the first two days. Well, lo and behold, it was the first day that it was Vicky the first did. day. And then all of a sudden the weather just shifted. Now it was great. We were into elk. We saw elk every day. I mean, but the pressure was off. RJ had a bull in the freezer. Vicky had a bull now down. Well, that's going in the freezer. So I'm like, well, I'm just gonna take my time. I'm gonna wait and well and freeze. Elk can travel more than 12 miles in a single day. So spotting and stalking during hunts like these can be very physically demanding, especially in mountainous terrain. So what's the plan? <laughs> well, there's there's two different ways we can try to attack it. Mm -hmm. Normally, I like to park right there at the gate mm -hmm. and then walk down to that first beaver pond. Right. And a lot of times they'll come up from, from the painter side from Utah or from where we actually heard the bugles, we can go back down a little bit further and then try to sneak up on them that way. But then where we're gonna be kind of... I like the idea of not trying to chase them. I do too. Let them come to us. Let them come to us. That's, yep. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Especially, first idea. especially since they've been flighty in the last little bit because of all the commotion that's been going on trying to move the livestock out. Yep. So if this way, if we don't have to mess up their routine, mm -hmm. they feel more comfortable. They get out and do their thing. Because like you said this morning, it's the first time in a couple of days we've been able to throw a cow call out and have a bull hammer you right back. Mm -hmm. That hasn't happened. And you had that right away, huh? This morning. Because yeah. what we did is we split up this morning, and. Uh, these guys found them. Mm -hmm. Found them big time. Put them to bed, and now we're going to go back in and see if we can wake them up. Sounds <laughs> like a plan. With a 6.8 Western baby. <laughs> That's right. He'll wake up for about uh, 37 seconds, mm -hmm. and if then he's long. going back to bed. If that long. For a long time. Mm -hmm. With so many elk running around them, they devise a plan to bag one as quickly as possible. Recognizing wind direction is critical for an elk hunt like this, the Cien Cerulos count on base map when strategizing their approach for the hunt. Finding a beautiful ridge that oversees the terrain, they spot a few elk, but they're just too far away for a clean shot. Good luck, guys. Good luck to you guys. Good luck. Good luck guys. All right, buddy. see him over there so he's thinking then he thinks 
that they're feeding further down. So we're gonna treat, we're gonna go lower down and see if we can intercept them. Unfortunately, the elk leave the area before the crew has time to get set up. It got colder and deeper snow. And if anybody's never been that in the mountains, in the snow is, you know, like over your knees, it's rough hiking, but I loved every minute of it. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I love you, good luck, honey. <laughs> yeah. Ralph was out there hunting hard in yeah, that cold and us. snow. I relaxed, had some coffee, laid around for a bit. I'm showing went Finny, the I'm going, look at this, look at this. And she's showing me all these pictures by the fireplace, holding her coffee mug, and we're sitting there freezing. It was awesome. But I got to tell you something. I'd still rather be on the mountain than in the lodge any day. Not in that cold of weather. No. It was it cold. Was still that temperature cold. dropped like. 70 degrees or something crazy. I mean, it was nice the day I shot my bull and that next morning, mm, I was so glad to be tagged out. As the saying goes, if you don't like the weather, just wait five minutes. After the dramatic shift in weather, the hunt for Ralph and Vicky draws to a close. But rest assured, the Cienzarulos will be back again soon to the R&K Hunting Company. Yep, we're ready. We're dialed in. Yeah. Hey, you know what's really cool? What? I gotta congratulate you. Yeah. All these years, all of our elk, and it's always been Bo. Right. You turn around first day out with R and K, and you guys put down a great bull with your browning the first I morning. I know. And the greatest thing about the first morning out was yeah. a huge storm was coming. Oh yeah. And I got it in time that I didn't have to go out and hunt in that nasty yep. cold weather. I mean, the, it was te the really tents nice dropped weather. horribly, and I got to sit inside and drink coffee all day I by need the fireplace. To, it was awesome. I need to talk to Rafe and, and Shondi and see if I can get my next browning expo in snow camo. We can't thank you guys enough. I, I mean, you, you treat everybody like family. Yeah, I mean, all of you guys at R&K, oh. Queen Mountain, I mean, everything you guys did for us from September in RJ's bowl to October in my bowl, and it even just, taking you out in the freezing cold, you guys are family and we can't appreciate you guys enough. Oh I mean, my gosh. thank you, thank you, thank you. And we appreciate you guys for watching this week. We hope you enjoyed this show. Thanks for making your choice. The choice, I was gonna screw it up after how many years?